Hello lovely, it's Jen. Today I will be showing you these three nail designs that I made. They were pretty easy. Um, I only used gel. I, I mean, what? <laughs> I didn't use gel polish for these. I only used acrylic paints. Um, I hope you like what I'm bringing for you today. So let's get into the video. Okay, so here, as you can see, I already cut back the nails, took out the shine, and glued as well as shaped my nail tips off camera. Now I am just wiping them with some alcohol, and as you can see, this tip right here broke on me. It has a crack in it, but it's okay. We're going to leave it like that because it's not a real client. It's just, you know, this difficult client I have right now. Now, if this were an actual person, an actual client, we would fix that right away. But since it's just, you know, my practice hand, we're just gonna leave it. I am using my builder in a bottle to make the gel extension. I did not use acrylic because I don't have monomer. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. Um, I also have my cute little LED flashlight to flash cure the gel to prevent it from running all over the freaking place. Um, I've got my melt tip primer and I'm applying it to what would be the natural nail. So here I am coming in with my Orly Builder in a Bottle. I'm applying a thin layer to the nail. Now, I haven't practiced much with this one, so I will be adding a little bits at a time. But my application was pretty good in the end, actually. <laughs> I was satisfied with the results. Um, I will be using it more though, so I could get better at it. Now, what you want to do with this is apply thin layers at first. Otherwise, it will burn when you cure it. So you want to really build the foundation for the rest of the product first by applying thin layers. And here I am just flash curing with my little LED flashlight so the product will not move on me. And then I'm coming in with my little LED lamp to give it a full cure. I've had this lamp for a long time y'all. I got this one with a Sally Hansen gel manicure kit about two years ago maybe, if not more. Um, I never really used it that much though until recently since I'm trying to switch from regular polish to gel only. Anyway, um, here I am building the thickness of the nail, just floating the bead of gel down the length of the nail little by little and adding more product as I go wherever I feel like it needs more. And again, I am trying to build the foundation for everything else. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because you will file this down before, you know, applying the nail art and everything. So yeah, for me, this is just obviously practice. I really want to get better at using this filter in a bottle since I really like it. And you do want to look at your nail from different angles so you can see where you're missing product or what it is that you can do different. And now into the lamp it goes for a full cure. So what I am doing now is once again building up the thickness of the nail. I do think I did a little bit too much here, <laughs> honestly. Um, I feel like I applied a little too much, but it was my first nail. The other two got better. And since I had too much product, what I'm trying to do is float a little bit of the product down the center of the nail so I could build up an apex. So once again, look at your nail from different angles so you can see any mistakes that you made so you can see if it needs a little more product somewhere. And here I am flash curing again so my product will not move. 
And honestly, I don't know why I did that since I put it in the lamp right away. <laughs> and now I am making sure everything is where it needs to be. And I will be repeating the same process on the other two nails off camera. Boom. Fast. <laughs> Um, so now I'm done building up the nails and now I am just wiping the discretion there with some alcohol so I could get ready to file and start with the nail art. So here I am just taking my hand file and starting at the cuticle area I will be filing the nail to get it nice and smooth. And I will be doing the other two off camera so this video won't be super long. So, now that my nails have been filed and shaped and all that good stuff, I will be taking this black acrylic paint and painting the nail with it. This will be our foundation color. I did repeat the process a few times off camera because it was too sheer at first. And now that the paint has dried, I will be adding some top coat to the nail. And the reason for this is to protect the foundation color in case we make any mistakes in our design. What we don't want to do is um, use some alcohol to wipe down our mistakes and have our whole foundation color come along with it. That is why we top coat the foundation first. Here I am going to wipe the techie layer with some alcohol because I am going to buff the nail. Now the reason for this is so that the rest of the acrylic paint that we'll be adding will have something to stick to. And you only want to take off the shine here. You're not doing anything more to the nail but that. Now we are wiping off the nail again and I will be taking a cosmetic wedge or a sponge or whatever you prefer. Um, I'm slightly wetting the sponge off camera then going into the white paint. Um, do make sure you take off the excess paint which I did not do. <laughs> uh, so I'm dabbing the paint onto the nail and then I wet my sponge again and dab it onto the nail again just with water to remove a little bit of the excess paint. And now I go into this pastel pink color and I end up using a different color because I wasn't happy with the result of this. But you know, you just have to keep doing this until you're happy with how it looks. I ended up using a darker color for that and as you can see, I am repeating the process with black and going into different colors. I forgot the name of that darker color, but that's the one I ended up using for that. And you know, you just have to keep going back and forth between colors until you're content with how it looks. So this is what it ended up looking like. Now, I felt like it didn't have enough pink. So I repeated the whole process again until I was happy with my results. The reason why I changed it was because I kept getting all these different ideas and I felt like it needed more of a certain color or I, I could change it a little bit more and I just kept on doing it until I was happy. And you know, just don't stop until you're happy with what it looks like. So this was it, this was the final result. I know, I know, just trust the process girl, it's, it's gonna happen. So now I am coming in with my nail art brush and I will begin my skull design. <laughs> now, don't come for me you guys, this is the first time I try to draw a skull on a nail. I know I need practice, I should, you know what I should have done? I should have outlined it with a pencil first and then gone in with my um, nail art brush just so I could have made less mistakes. But either way, I like the way it looks.
this is where I feel like I have um, a little bit of trouble with because I keep going back and forth right here as you can see and off camera too I went back and I tried fixing it a little more. So here I am just adding random lines onto my design to try to make it look a little bit different, a little bit better, a little, I don't know what. <laughs> I just had fun with it, honestly, and I liked how it turned out in the end, actually. That's what nail art is about, especially practicing. It's just about having fun and just seeing what you can come up with because it always changes. And here I am going back in, adding a little bit more detail to wherever I feel like it needs a little something more. And I am adding some random lines onto the nail as well. So now that that's dry, I will be adding some top coat onto the nail and I will be encapsulating glitter into this design. I will be using this super cute glitter mix. It has gold and rose gold glitters in it, but for this design I'm only using the rose gold colored ones. So here I'm just placing the glitter, mostly trying to concentrate it on the left side of the nail a little bit, if that makes any sense. I'm trying for the glitter not to take too much attention off of the skull. So here I am just coming in with my LED lamp, LED lamp, LED flashlight <laughs> so the glitter will not move on me and now I am just adding top coat to seal in the glitter. I cured the top coat off camera for the most part and now we just have to wipe the nail with an alcohol pad and our design is done. Here I am just going in with my buffer, um, taking off a little bit of the top coat that was left over on our nail tip. So now I'm just looking at the nail and everything is done. This is what she looks like. So moving on to our second design, um, here I'm just taking this red orange color. I forgot the exact name for it, but I'm putting it on the whole nail and this will be the foundation for our design. I did two coats of this color and I let the paint fully dry. So 
So now that the paint has dried, I will be adding some base coat to the nail. I will be encapsulating glitter on this design as well, and I just wanted to try it out with base coat. No specific reason really. I just wanted to see if it worked better than with the top coat that we did on the previous one. Now for this design, I will be using two different glitter colors. I'll be using this um, gold one and the red glitter from this other mix right here. I'm only using the red and the gold. So since this is a butterfly wing design, you just have to picture the outline that you will draw and place the glitter inside that imaginary outline. So here I am um, placing the different colored glitters randomly onto the nail and I do try to um, place the glitters into that imaginary uh, butterfly outline as best as I can so I could just draw the outline, draw the detail and be done with my design. Now, I do apologize for being so out of focus. I was not looking at my phone screen. I was trying to focus on the design. And here I am just placing the glitters, rotating between colors. And yeah, we're almost done. It's super easy. This design is super simple and it looks so, so pretty. And now that we're done with that, we're going to flash cure so the glitter does not move anywhere. So I gave that a full cure and now I will add the top coat to seal in the glitter and cure that as well. If this were on an actual client, I would do two coats of top coat just to make sure that the glitter is sealed in properly and that there will be no um, bumps or anything because sometimes that can happen with glitter. So now that we've um, cleansed our nail with alcohol, we're going to buff the shine off of the nail so we could um, come in and draw our butterfly wing. I decided to begin with this brown color and now I will begin drawing just a simple butterfly wing. Here you could do whatever you want. You could make it a super fancy wing, you could do something super easy and super simple. Just do whatever you want. It's your design. Um, here I'm just going to draw the outline and then I am going to make the body of our butterfly. So here I will be going on the inside of the wing with very, very light brush strokes as light as I possibly can. And this will be part of the shading. You can do whatever design you want on the inside of the wing. Um, I just decided to go for this because it makes a pretty contrast against the glitter.
here I will take black paint and just go over the outline of the wing and the body to darken the design. It will give it a very nice look. I will also be shading um, the inside of the wing a little bit with the black colored paint and I feel like this made it look even better. I am really really happy with this design. I hope you like it too. So here I'm just taking this yellow color and adding it to the inside of our butterfly's body. Um, I'm going to let that dry, then come back and add some top coat. Okay, so now that the paint has dried, I am just adding some top coat and I will be giving it a full care once again. Okay, so I cleansed the nail and everything off camera and this is what she looks like. I am really, really happy with that, you guys. It looks so pretty. I really, really like it. Okay, now moving on to our final design. Um, honestly, I was not going to include this because it was a total fail for me. This was my very first time trying to make this design. I honestly hated how it turned out. Um, I made so many mistakes, but I still left it in the video, so you could see that there's mistakes to be made in the nail world. Uh, it's a trial and error and that's why we're here. We're here to practice. We're here to keep going at it and to um, learn from our mistakes and get better at what we do. Okay, anyway, um, so I took some purple and blue and dabbed it along the nail to create some sort of ombre effect. And now I'm going in um, just adding random little lines along the nail. Okay, so here I am just wiping my brush um, and coming in with uh, white paint to create my little clouds. So here I am drawing all my drawing, painting all my little clouds. I do think I should have made them smaller and a little bit more round. Okay, so I believe that this is where I messed up really bad. I have the habit of trying to use 
only one brush for every single thing. I have a finer brush, which I should have gone for, but no, 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 no. I wanted to use this brush for everything. <laughs> but I think that even though I did that, I could have salvaged my design. I don't know, maybe it's that, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know why I'm being so negative about it. Um, in the end, I did try it. It's trial and error. I just have to try it again, fix any mistakes that I may have made, and move on from there. So that's what it looked like. Sorry, it's out of focus right now. So this is what my nail looks like so far. And now I'm coming in with some top coat to fill in my design. So I gave it a full cure and now I am taking some top coat, um, putting it to the side. And I will be going over my design with some top coat. Now, this is where I went wrong because my top coat just moved and went all over the place on me. <laughs> Okay, so here I had stopped and quickly made this little glow-in-the-dark um, mix with some acrylic and I wanted to add this to all the little clouds and the moon and the little star that I made. And here you will see that I wasn't wiping the nail off. I wasn't dusting it off. I tried dusting it off one time after curing um, one of the designs, but I thought that the excess um, mix uh, would uh, keep the gel from moving, but it did not. I liked how it looked um, with the whole glow-in-the-dark effect. But the only reason why I didn't like this design was because to me it was really noticeable where the gel had shifted. So here I just cured the nail. I am dusting it off and I will show you what it looks like. So see the star is really noticeable where everything just shifted all over the place. So what I actually tried to do is hide it with um, a little rhinestone and honestly it kind of worked I'm not mad at it anymore <laughs> but yeah I really tried to make it better I feel like I sort of accomplished that and this is what it looks like with the glow in the dark effect so these are the three ideas I brought for you guys um, I hope you like them I had so much fun just having fun making this video um, please let me know what you think about my designs. I really hope you like them. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. <laughs>